Hello you guys and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah and thank you for joining me today. I wanted to just take a moment and kind of reflect where we are at along our minimalist journey and specifically to do so kind of looking at some of our donation receipts from the types of things we donated. Here's what I found to be the crazy thing with minimalism is an item might kind of torment you while you have it but then once you actually let it go I often forget about it and the only way I really remember these things that I have gotten rid of is when I go back and look at my anti-haul videos or even when I go back and look at the horrendous before footage that I have uploaded on my channel and unfortunately is still my most popular video. It just hit 100,000 views. Why is that one the one that got so many views? With that in mind, I think it can be really important for us to kind of look at these things to help us document our progress along the way. And um, actually from a tax perspective, to be honest, I earlier on didn't know as much about taxes, but at least when we filed our taxes the most recent year, it didn't actually help us at all doing the itemized deductions for like donations compared to just however it was set up automatically. From that perspective, we're not actually getting receipts anymore with our donations, um, just because it wasn't really making an impact past years. I'd plug it in and it wouldn't actually adjust uh, the amount of money um, that we were having to pay for taxes. And then this year it even just specifically told us like, it's better for you to do the deductions we have set up rather than itemized deductions. But okay. Again, I'm still not much of a tax expert, but because of that, we realized we didn't really need these anymore. But I found it so interesting just kind of looking back through because what we had um, back when we were in Western Illinois, we lived there for three years. Our main donation center was a Goodwill there just because it was a smaller town and there weren't as many options. There was a Salvation Army, which we scheduled a couple pickups since they would come pick up the items if they were larger. So we did do a couple of things with them. But these days, it's more of a mix. We do have a Goodwill we go to, um, but there's more donation centers from 2015 through like 2017. We had 22 Goodwill receipts that we had been saving. And the actual receipts here don't really tell us anything because it's just like the date, the location, and whoever was working there. Um, we didn't actually like fill out the other parts, but we, we had them. So there was that. But then Jake and I would keep very detailed records of everything that was being donated. And so I just thought this was kind of interesting to go through a little bit, just because it's so easy to forget what we're donating and what we have before. Like when I read through this, I'm, I'm going to see if we even remember like what these things were. We were only 22, 23 when we had all this stuff. Had we not adopted a minimalist lifestyle, what could have that become? You know, it could have been much more of a problem. As you guys know, I do those monthly anti-hauls, so I do usually bring donations um, to a different center about once per month as well. So it doesn't stop. It keeps, it keeps going. We keep adding to it. But I just don't take receipts anymore because of the tax thing. So I'm just gonna pick a few of these and kind of read through some of the items that we got rid of, just to kind of show that like, you know, even though we are in a much simpler space now, we definitely weren't always in this place. So, so hearing some of these numbers might just be interesting context. This is from September of 2016. So we had already been declaring for about a year or so at this point. 16 washcloths, 13 hangers, two skirts, 40 miscellaneous items, if it was something smaller, nine dishes, eight shirts, seven books, 10 DVDs, a backpack, four dress shirts, one hoodie, seven bow ties, four pairs of shoes, a mattress pad, a glass tray, 10 pairs of underwear, two sweaters, a placemat, seven reusable bags, an inner tube, I really don't remember having an inner tube, um, a cookie gun, and two dresses. Oh, and six video games. So there we go. That was one of our rounds of decluttering. Here's another one. Eight glasses, box of 12 assorted glasses, 49 miscellaneous items, eight shirts, a pair of pajama pants, one dress, another backpack, this was also, this was July of 2016, so a couple months before that other one. One purse, six video games, a sander, I think like the tool, I assume, 13 books, pair of shorts, three DVDs, two CDs, a griddle, and 30 magazines. Wow, that was a lot. Here's one from 2015 in December. This was one of our first decluttering trips, I think. 
three pairs of dress shoes, a plastic bucket, shoe rack, two TV trays, four mugs and saucers, three sandals, two pairs of miscellaneous shoes, two pairs of sneakers, six pairs of socks, 12 shirts, a pair of pants, one dress shirt, one pair of swim trunks, five cups slash water bottles, um, three sweaters, one pillowcase, two bow ties, one dress, two ties, one pair of jeans, four miscellaneous, two pairs of dress pants, and two sports bras. So that's an earlier one. I'll just do a couple more. This is so interesting because I really don't remember so much of this. This one is from January 2017. So this was um, a more recent one, but I was not yet doing my anti-haul videos. Old food processor, cooking pans, three of them, measuring cups, five different kitchen miscellaneous items, two dish towels, three trays, winter coat, uh, 17 miscellaneous items just generally, eight t-shirts, one dress, one video game, one glass bowl, one hand mixer, some school supplies, four ties, two sweaters, one book, and four DVDs. Here's another one. One pink crate, three pieces of kitchen equipment, 13 shirts, three pairs of pants, 15 miscellaneous items, 14 ties, 28 books, one movie, three picture frames, one towel, three sweaters, one sheet set, and one rug. That was in August of 2016. All right, this will be the last one I do. I didn't actually mark what year this was, but this was January. I'm going to assume 2016. Four card table chairs, five pants hangers, the ones that can hold multiple pairs, um, two sweatshirts, two pairs of pants, one shirt, uh, nine books, one pair of tights, a paper towel dispenser holder, uh, two pillows, one picture frame, three tennis balls. That's random. <laughs> I don't recall having tennis balls. Uh, one cup, one picture frame, five miscellaneous items, a pair of socks, two sports bras, one t-shirt, one sweatshirt, and a couple big tins of stuff, like reusable tins. That one's not really a good one to end on. All right, we'll end on this one. Here's one more. This one also doesn't have a year on it. It says March 30th. I'm going to guess 2016, but it could be 2017 as well. So four pairs of pants, eight sweaters, 34 shirts, a robe, two belts, seven pairs of shorts, two CDs, a set of cups, two books, frisbees, hangers, one hat, toaster oven, toilet bowl cleaner, sneakers, and two VHSs. Why do we have VHSs? <laughs> so anyway, that's just a few of the examples. I'm not going to read the rest of these, but... I had just a few examples to show all the stuff that we've gotten rid of. I know for myself that was pretty interesting to take a look at that, but I hope that's also helpful for you to think that, you know, if you feel like, you know, you could never be a minimalist because you have so much or you feel like you don't know where to start or just that it's going to be a really long uphill battle. The cool thing is when you look back on it, number one, you know, you really forget about a lot of the stuff that you had and it's not something you're really going to actively miss most likely, but also that, you know, I think for myself, like, I'm just so much happier with where we are now and it honestly kind of makes me sick just to think about all those papers of stuff that all that stuff all those trips we've done at this point if I do the math more than 30 different trips to donation centers to get rid of things and that's a big number it's something that we just keep doing you know about once a month but really the fact that we had so much and, and now we've been able to simplify so much and just have a much more positive, intentional life. And it means so much to me. So I know this video might have been a little bit more out there and I haven't really seen other YouTubers really talking about this side of things, but I just, since I had them, I wanted to kind of share that and just kind of share where we're at along the journey. And that's the thing, the donations haven't stopped. There's still so much more uh, that we are able to find to simplify, but can't even remember what it was like to have so much stuff, unless I go back and like watch the old footage or, or read this. But I don't even know how we stored all that in our space, why we thought that we needed all that. Nonetheless, we're always trying to make progress here, so I wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Um, before I, I think I'll probably recycle this since, like I said, it doesn't really make a difference for us on tax purposes anymore. So that being said, if you guys would like to check out some of our past videos, you can do so over here, or feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.